Hey, in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you the number one thing that keeps you stuck in a low vibrational state and how you can actually resolve this thing to raise your energy, to raise your frequency. So if you're new to this idea, I'll just give you a brief explanation of why this is important, not just for your own spiritual development and personal growth, but just for the quality of your life. If you consider that everything is energy, which is quite well known, Everything in this world and universe is made of energy, different frequencies of energy. Some of these frequencies are, are lower and some of these frequencies are higher. Now it seems human beings have access to a wide spectrum of these feelings. These low energy feelings are denser and heavier. So when you're in a low vibration, you are literally denser, heavier. Things feel more sluggish, sticky, slow. Just from these words here, you get an idea of what it feels like to be stuck in a low vibration. On the opposite side, we have higher vibrational energies, which are naturally more lighter, freer, they flow more, and um, more joyful, right? You get the idea, you can see a clear contrast between the difference between low vibration and high vibration. When you're high vibration, guess what? Things just flow more easily and effortlessly for you opportunities will probably just come to you more easily life will feel less like a drag and more like just a dance if you will so we all have the capacity to raise our energy to move into a more higher frequency but there is one thing that blocks you this from happening before i get to that i just want to give you one other cool benefit i've acknowledged through raising my energy and that is you become more anabolic, right? So anabolic means you build. When you are more anabolic, you release more building hormones, such as testosterone. You literally get physically stronger. So this has also been researched and reported in David Hawkins' book called Power Versus Force, where they carried out a load of experiments and research teachings. What they found out was when people tell the truth or when people are positive, they go physically stronger, like actually stronger compared to when they say something false or untrue, their body goes weak. So what they determine from this is that truth is power, lies and falsehood is weakness. And when you're in a higher vibrational state, you are in alignment with power. When you're in alignment with power, you are more anabolic. Therefore, like I said, you release these building hormones. You are literally physically stronger. You can experience this yourself when you're working out or something. When you're in a high vibrational state, you will have better workouts. You'll just feel better. You'll have higher testosterone levels. You will just literally feel better about going about your life. So that's a really cool thing I just wanted to put in there that I've recognized when I'm in a high vibrational state. However, bringing it back to the, the main topic of the video, there is a reason that your energy is low. There is a reason why you cannot get free, why you're constantly stuck in these low vibrational states. And it is ultimately due to negative emotion. So I'll bring up Hawkins' scale of consciousness on the screen now. You can see these lower frequencies we've got. We've got things like shame, guilt, apathy, fear, anger, and a few others. Now, if you are experiencing of these regularly that means these emotions are programmed into your mind and body unconsciously you don't know how they're there there's certain experiences you've been through in your lifetime which have programmed them into you now they just happen unconsciously little things just set you off little triggers will just influence you and keep you stuck in these low vibrational energies and because they're unconscious and you've been replaying them and recycling them for so long, your whole mind and body is just automatically programmed to experience and stay stuck at this level. So you can try all the affirmations you want and visualizing and wishing and dreaming, but your body is telling you something else. You cannot change your life until you change your energy, until you change your emotional set point. That would be another way to describe this. Your energy is set based upon the conditioning you've received. And it's constantly reinforcing itself. 
So the way out of this is to, to find out what emotions are running you, which is not always easy, simply because they're unconscious. They feel normal to you because they've been running you for so long. For decades, for most of your life, for some people, you don't see them. So you need to get intuitive. And what I want to do now here is to just give you four ways that you can find how you can build your energy. And the first one is to help you understand what energies are actually running you. And to do that, you've got to start to look at the quality of your thoughts and your thinking. Your thoughts and thinking are really just a byproduct of your programming, your emotional set point. Your thoughts don't really mean much else, believe it or not. I read this on an Instagram post recently. The thoughts are just like um, the end point, yeah? Imagine you've got the toilet and you release the waste. <laughs> kind of like that, your mind's just the waste. So if you are having shitty thoughts, literally, that is just the waste of how you're feeling about yourself. So start to look at the quality of your thoughts. If they're fearful, anxious, resentful, angry, I don't know, whatever they are, then you can get a big clue as to what your unconscious emotions are, what is actually running you. And when you can determine that, then you can actually begin to do the work to heal, release these unconscious emotions so you can start to move up the scale. The second thing I suggest you do is... Practice gratitude. I say this because you need to start to wire positive emotional states into your being. You are who you are. Your energy is where it is now due to all the conditioning and programming you've received your whole life. And now it's hardwired in there. You need to rewire that hardwiring through practicing positive emotion. Now, gratitude is of a very, very high frequency. And just by simply developing a daily gratitude practice, you can start to reprogram yourself emotionally. But guess what? It's going to take time because the old programs aren't going to let go without a fight, right? They have helped you survive and they've got you this far in your life. So there's going to be a lot of fear wrapped up in that. But just starting a regular daily gratitude practice will help you get more used to feeling higher states, more positive states. For me personally, I do gratitude right before I go to sleep when I'm in bed. Just before I fall asleep, I'll do like 30 seconds or a minute of gratitude just for simple things. It doesn't need to be anything special. If you've got a roof over your head, if you've had a meal today or um, you've got clothes on your back, you've got things to be grateful for. I know it's easy to get lost in what I want and what I do not have, but you have so much. There's a lot of people in the world who do not even have these simple things that you have. And the powerful thing about gratitude is when you start to feel grateful for the little things, you start to find opportunities in nothing. You start to be grateful for and find value in bad things. Okay, and that's real power, right? That's when your life really starts to shift. When you start to find the bad, sorry, when you start to find the good in the bad, your whole perception changes and you start to develop so many reference points for the good in your life. So gratitude will take you so far. Make sure you build this into your daily practice. Third strategy I've got for you is forgiveness. Now, forgiveness is so important because unless you're forgiving other people who have wronged you, you're going to be hanging on to a lot of resentment and anger from the past. And guess what? Resentment and anger is a low vibrational frequency, a low energy. That is going to keep you stuck. You're not going to be able to move up. Now, I know a lot of you have had a negative bad things happen to you horrific things even and it's very difficult to even entertain the idea of forgiveness but i just wanted to consider one thing by not forgiving you'll never change your life if that's what it came down to would you rather hold on to that resentment or would you rather have a better life and i know this is not easy but that's ultimately what it's going to come down to because that resentment is such a heavy energy, it's going to keep you stuck. The only way that you get unstuck is through forgiveness. Beyond forgiving other people, you obviously need to forgive yourself. We've all done things that we are not proud of. We all have, right? And even if you don't consciously realize it, we carry regret and guilt around the things that we did or did not do in our own pasts. So once you've forgiven the people in your life, start to turn it inward and start to forgive yourself. Let yourself off the hook. Again, these are just low 
vibrational energies that are keeping you stuck. The fourth and final thing I suggest you do to keep you in a high vibrational state is daily hygiene. So this is to develop four or five techniques that you rely on, that you use regularly to just keep you in a good positive state. Um, something I read recently about monks in a monastery, they're just constantly sweeping the floor for hours every day, right? It doesn't make any logical sense. <laughs> but the idea is that dust builds on the floor even though you cannot see it. If you don't have a regular practice of maintaining your spiritual or energetic hygiene, dust is going to build on you if you don't take care of it. So some practices I recommend that you use and do, things that I do, like meditation every day for me, breathing exercises about three or four times a week. I do cold showers, I do saunas, I work out, um, I run sometimes. So these are the things that I rely on because I know they keep me in a good, positive, energetic state. But it needs to be done on a consistent, regular basis. Not something you can just do one time or once a week or when you feel like it. Because like the floor analogy, the floor is going to get dirty. You're going to get sucked into the negative energy. Because the conditioning you've received your whole life or for a long, long time is negative. Them old programs are going to drag you down. Like I said, the dense, thick, heavy energies, right? Over time, consistently through practicing um, positive emotion like gratitude, releasing resentment, um, paying attention to the quality of your thoughts, and then the daily hygiene on top of that, you will start to raise your energy, right? You'll start to actually change your life. You change your life when your energy changes. It's as simple as that. Like I said before, you can do all the affirmations you want in the world, but if subconsciously your body is programmed to the level of fear, you ain't gonna change your life. And this is probably one of the number one reasons people can't change, because they don't change their energy. But this is a lot of emotional work. I will make another video on how to work with the emotional stuff, because I've learned a lot on this, and the longer you do it, the more your understanding expands. Like anything, that's why you need to commit to these practices and just stick with them. Okay, so that's everything I've got to talk about in this video. If it helped you out in any way, if you could please go ahead, give the video a like, share, subscribe, really helps me out. But until next time, God bless.